strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. These were the words that player Seijun Park took to heart when he obliterated the competition at the 2014 Pokemon World Championships, with the scrappy team of deceptively cute critters nonetheless. Competitive Pokemon has always been fairly homogenous, with only a small fraction of the hundreds of collectible monsters being deemed viable by the pro battling community. This means that teams usually fall into one of two categories. Ones that just use the best mons, and ones designed from the ground up to counter the best mons. Deviating from the top tiers is considered a deliberate handicap, or even outright suicide. The early days of the competitive Pokemon X and Y scene were no different, with the meta being dominated by big names like Aegislash, Talonflame, and a litany of powerful Dragon types. However, even in the face of such steep competition, Korean pro Sejun Park decided that bringing his favorites to the finals of the largest tournament in the world was the right move. Psychic types Gardevoir and Gothitelle were both niche picks, still viable but underused due to their being outclassed by other stronger Pokemon. The star and mascot of Park's team was something no one could have seen coming though. The puny electric type squirrel, Pachirisu. Pachirisu, the Ella Squirrel Pokemon. It gathers static electricity and hides fur balls along with its favorite fruit under the eaves of houses. Pachirisu is the definition of a dark horse pick. With low stats and a shallow move pool, very few have given the Pikachu knockoff the tie of day. Since its introduction in Diamond and Pearl, it's consistently sat near the bottom of community tier lists and has rarely seen even the most fleeting competitive use. Park was determined to make the rodent work against all odds, even deploying it in the grand finals match against multi-year finalist Judy Azzarelli. The crux of Park's strategy involved using Pachirisu, who, despite its tiny stature, had been specially trained as a bulky tank, to protect its frailer teammates by drawing enemy attacks using the move Follow Me. This eventually led to a particularly memorable moment, wherein Pachirisu managed to tank a hit from Draco Meteor, one of the most powerful moves in the entire game, and remained standing. Not even Mythical Beast could prevent this squirrel from going nuts. That Pachirisu, uh, probably originally targeted for that guard jump, will connect, will deal some good damage, but we've already seen not enough. That Pachirisu is so bulky if that Mo Rotom's Leaf Storm wasn't proof enough, it just tanked a Salamence Draco Meter and no flinch! So Rock Slide does come out from Garchomp that should be a double KO! No! 2 HP from Salamence! But Park's unconventional team and strategies left Judy with no counterplay, clinching the tournament in a decisive 2-0 victory. When asked about his Pachirisu in a post-match interview, Park, armed with the plushie of his favorite Mon, said that he used it simply because no one could expect or plan for it. His opponents built their teams to counter the meta tanks, so what better to overcome them with a tank so far removed from the meta that it's practically in a different solar system? Pachirisu's performance won the internet's collective hearts and cemented Sejun Park's place in the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Proof positive that tears don't mean squat if you got enough strategic and creative genius.